Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, a little body and a big head with a real person. So what I mean by that is like this person right here. It has a little body and a big head. I didn't make it too little. I just made it look like she's like, I don't know, like something in this world. But I, I'm, I, didn't, I don't know. I just made her look like something. So, uh, we're only going to be doing the per little person right here. We're not going to be doing the whole picture that's here. You, uh, because, uh, all you need to know is this, and then you could start, like, copying it, and then, like, erasing stuff and make it, like, I don't know. Uh, and there's seven, seven people in this, uh, seven hers, that's my sister, um, in this picture. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the little legs here. That counts. And so yeah, let's start and yeah. So let and what you need is a, a, a picture of the person. A, the person, right? Just a picture of the person standing there or whatever you want it want it to do. And just literally don't move anything so use a tripod or something or if you have a computer just don't move it and um and um have the background picture of this uh picture so yeah so let's take this out and that's all you need and get of course so let's open up again Okay, now make a new project. Oh, okay, make a new project. And I don't care which size it is, so just leave it at the default value. And uh, let's uh, open as layers the two pictures. So let's go to my desktop. And, let's make this. and take these two. Press control in this one. Okay, and just make the background layer the background layer. So right click merge down. Now it's the background layer. And leave the person uh picture the what what like okay. So now the so the first thing you wanna do is um take uh yeah. So the first thing you wanna do is take the free select tool and uh, and use the free select tool to um, take an outline of the head. So if it's like a girl or something, or the person has long hair, do the hair also. And I don't I uh, so let's start. I'll just do this quick. Take your time on this. Uh, I think you need the. It's your choice if you want the neck or something because sometimes the neck gets in the way, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, like I said, it's your choice. Okay, and now you have this little boxy thing around your your um person. So now you want to go into edit, copy. And now you're all safe. You're so if you even delete the layer, it's still gonna be there. So n now you want to go into select none, select none, and now draw another selection around your body. So let's make this quick. And uh, now when you get to the hairs, you want to not get them because that, that's what you, you uh, that's what you included in the hair, in the, uh, bo like, head. So do not include it. Include everything else, including the part of the neck that you didn't include, or, like, the neck. And now connect it 
with the first one, and now you get the selection around your body. Now you could go in. Now you want to go into edit. Uh, yeah. Now you want to go in uh, in into the scale tool and scale it down to as little as you want. So I think this is good. Do scale, and then you have to, if, you, if you look at your picture now, it looks like the most weirdest thing you ever saw in your life. So to fix that, you want to to make the the layer that you paste uh, that you scaled a new layer. So right click new layer, and now what you want to do is delete the the thing that you used the photo that you used the original photo of the person, delete it, now it all clears up. Now what I'm going to do uh, is add the head. So go into edit, paste, and now you look at it, it's, it looks stupid and it's not the full head because it's not a layer yet. It's still a floating selection, so go into uh, right click and new layer, and now you get the full head. Now you get the move tool and move it to wherever you want. This is good. You could scale it down a bit. It doesn't really matter if you think it's too big. Or I did my body too small. Oh. So let's move it. And. Play around. Now we're basically done, but if you have like a girl like I do, you might want to keep on watching this tutorial uh, because I, I'm going to show you how to make the hair go behind the the back. So if not, of course, stop the tutorial. So thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, but not for the people who have a girl. So yeah. Have to do the tutorial, but the for the people who have a girl keep on watching. Okay, so now what you want to do is uh duplicate the head layer, and now let's make whoa uh solo this the the layer right there, and now let's zoom in. And now, what you want to do is take the, and what you want to make this layer um, a layer mask, and add a layer mask, and take the paint brush tool, and start erasing just the, the, um, just uh, lower than the neck, like that. And right there. And I did a little bit too much of a free select, so let's clean up this. Okay. And now it looks like she has short hair, and that is alright. So let's undo the solo. Okay. And now you want to solo the layer right, the layer right there. The new, not not this one that we just did. We want to layer, uh, solo the layer that we didn't do. So let me just clean this up. Oh, actually, you don't need to clean it up because we're just gonna leave uh, leave behind the uh, uh, on top uh, on the bottom of the neck. We're gonna do the opposite. Oh, uh, we're gonna do the opposite of what we did here. So let's do um. Add the uh, uh, layer mask, got it. And now just take the paintbrush tool and erase everything above the neck, including the neck. So we're gonna do the opposite of what we did last in the last picture. And erase everything. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, you can erase it and make sure you leave the the hairs uh, down the neck. Okay. And now, when we un wait, when we unsolo it, it looks like her hair is broken up. And we could fix that right now uh, by going, uh, staying in on the layer that only has the bottoms of the of the uh, hair, going into the move tool, and um, moving it up until you think it, it looks good. Okay, and now I think that looks good, so I can move it down or up, and it all has to match. So and since it's on, it's on the bottom of it, it'll like merge into it. So don't worry about that. And now it looks the same as it was. And to and now what, what we want to do is um put the layer with the 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 that we just worked on and put it on the bottom of of the um of the body layer. And now it looks like that, and that is what I was telling you all along. So yeah, and that's basically it. And yeah, and now let's zoom out and let's see our final product. Let's merge everything down into one layer so we can. change anything okay and I don't know what happened to the layer I don't know what happened but it shouldn't happen like that so yeah I don't know what happened but it should not happen to you if you if you followed my steps I probably did not follow my steps so if it does happen to you uh, just, I don't know, just redo the tutorial or something, and, yeah, so that's basically it, that's all, uh, all there is to it, like I said, I made it up, I, I did not, I just used the techniques that I, uh, learned in GIMP, so rate, uh, so thank you, rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye!